Legend of Turtle here, and today we've got a Saving Gear Disaster Battle playing as Malekith going up against Crow and Hillebron. So we're pretty significantly outnumbered and we've been caught in Force March, and he's he's got a good army here. It's not what I would recommend, but he's got a Shade stu uh, Doomstack. Uh, we're going up against more than two full armies here. So there's pretty much nothing we can do here to prepare, we just gotta jump in and just see what we can do. The guy in the email said that he reckons this battle's impossible, but he just wants to see what I can do. Um, I don't think it's impossible. Because there's... We've got tools at our disposal here. We've got... If we just attack them head on, yeah, we'll lose. So we need to think a little bit outside the box. Maybe utilize the terrain to our advantage. And also, the fact that these guys here hide can be very useful. So I think what we'll do here, organize these guys... Because they're the ones with higher range. Move them at the back. I'm just going to move them here. Uh, primarily to keep them hidden, but also for later on in the battle. This would be a good defensive position, I think. Alright, make sure they're all in guard mode. And let's see here. Battle ready. Eager for battle. Shades. Nagarothi. Shades. Druki. Uh, need to do this sort of custom, just because of the, uh, the situation doesn't call for any sloppiness, really. Cold-blooded killers! Druki! Shades! The merciless host! Alright, um, oh, here, put that one right there. So, I reckon it's a pretty good checkerboard formation, but the problem here is actually the elevation. Although having the high ground in like previous Total War games would be good, it benefits melee units more than mi missile units in Warhammer 2, because shooting up or down a hill actually reduces your accuracy on moving targets, because the, the way that they target units, they don't take the differences in elevations into consideration very well, and so it's very easily it's very easy for them to miss if the unit is moving up a hill or down a hill. So the best place to put archers usually is completely on flat terrain, because that way that increases their accuracy. It doesn't matter what their missile damage is if they can't actually hit. Um, but we don't really have that option here. I mean, if we put them in the center here, we're just going to get completely surrounded. We could put them around the back here and shoot at them, but I reckon we'll still just get overwhelmed too quickly. You know, if um, if Hellebron's forces wasn't as fast as it was, then maybe, but our forces are quite exhausted. I, I just don't expect them to kill them and then turn around in time to beat them. we got to utilize magic. So what I'm going to do, we're going to stay right here. What I want to do is try to get them to walk around here. At this tip point here, I reckon they will be bunched up. And that's where we cast the spells on them. So, in the meantime... Hang on. Try to dodge this. Oh. Shh. Okay, good. Dodged it. Um, I might try to dodge these Shades uh, ammo. Because Shades don't have tons of it. Hang on, hang on. And it'd just be... You know, just doing a bit of extra damage to them. While we're waiting. Can't be doing this on fast mode if they're shooting fireballs at us while doing this. Uh, Malekith can heal, he does have Soul Stealer. Yeah, I really feel sluggish while on uh, Force March here. You gotta love all these Force March battles, but it wouldn't be a disaster battle if it was easy. Sometimes they are, though. thing is, a disaster battle means it's a disaster for you, not necessarily for me. I can sort most of these out. We'll see. Don't worry about those Doomfire Warlocks just yet. They have no idea where our main forces are, and they can't shoot at Malekith. Except with, um... I could cast a spell on them, actually. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that. There's quite a few of them there, so I'm going to do it. We've also got some Black Ark abilities. And that cast didn't quite go where I was expecting, which sucks. 
But it's only 10 wins of magic, and we've still got 81. 91 if you include this. Malekith does not have any additional wins of magic. Uh, he does have uh, that. Mm, maybe, I'll think about that. It's best actually not to use that right away. Unless you're like in a real rush for magic. Alright, we need to cross over here because we don't want to engage that dragon just yet. Um, yeah. Here's a good spot for another one. I just gotta try to get some magic to get. So that first cast wasn't as good as I was hoping. I don't want to use the uh, the pestilential breath just yet. Noxious breath, sorry. Save it for a bit later. Hopefully this one will do a bit better. Because yeah, that first one just didn't go where I wanted it to. This one straight away got a lot of kills. Still not going exactly where I want it to. Randomly moving thing, but you know, 100 odd kills. Pretty good. But yeah, didn't go exactly where I wanted it. But it's good that they're coming back across over here because I can't see our troops. Alright, well that's one of those done. We can easily get away from the dragon. Uh, its speed is 90. Okay, so Malik is. Try to keep them bunched up here as much as possible. Okay, stay away from that dragon. Uh, that's not ideal. No, because we didn't didn't really hit the drag uh, the those units last time with it anyway. Hmm. And now they're coming back over here. All right, I could use fireball to smash the the black dragon. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna lure the dragon up here because if we kill the dragon, then they'll they should forget where they are right after we kill it. Yeah, come at me. Because only the dragon is after us. That's it, that's it. Have Malekith lure them over here, and I'll lure the dragon up this way, and we'll fucking shred the bitch. We gotta give it some bait. Super important. Good. This this could work out really nicely. Taking out that black dragon early. Really, really good. Hang on, you guys here, don't fire just yet. Wait until I give the order. We want to make sure we preserve our ammunition as best as possible. Come on, get its attention. Bring it in. Lure them away. Because, yeah, the AI has got, like, no memory of where you have your hidden units. If we... If they see us, and then we manage to go back into hiding, they'll totally forget. Some of our units have been detected. Alright, there. Go. Now. Pretty sure that dragon's gonna get absolutely shredded. Yep. Oh, shit. Dragon down. And they will forget where we are. Alright. Took a bit of damage on it, but still. Very powerful unit that we got rid of. And they brought in some more Doomfire Warlocks. Okay, cool. Um, I mean, it's not cool, but they've still got rather reinforcements. And that was minimal ammo used up. Okay, cool. So, pretty basic, you know, art of war strategy. Just, if you're going up against a superior enemy, divide and conquer. Pretty simple. At least in theory, pretty simple. Okay, I gotta get them bunched up again. I don't want to necessarily waste the ammo, but I'm not gonna waste a spell on just one unit of shades. Because our range is way better than theirs, so they wouldn't actually be that much of a threat to us. It's the Doomfire Warlocks I'm actually most concerned about. Alright, I need to get Mal Malekith back around over here so they can bunch up more. But, problem is he's really slow, because he's on Force March, obviously. Um, I can't just fly over the heads of these shades. They'll bloody shred us. And I don't want to give away that position here, so I don't want to go all the way around. So, if I feign an attack, we'll activate their Skirmish Mode. And then I'll fly over their heads and just try my best to dodge them. If I take too much damage, I'll just... What's this? Oh, that's fine. I'll pop down a, um... Soul Stealer. Alright, come on, come 
Doing my best to dodge, but that's not this unit's forte at all. Definitely a bad time to use the uh, the dragon breath. We'll get shot to shit. It would not be worth it. Best time to use the dragon breath is when the enemy are bunched up together and too busy to focus shooting at you. Like uh, melee clumps or something like that. Or if they don't even have any missile units. And also, it's not great against moving targets. Alright, Malekith made his way back over here. Now we just need them to clump up more for another Flamestorm. The uh, the first one was shit, second one was okay. Let's let's see how we go for third. Good, Malekith didn't take much damage. Come over here. They might redirect. Did I just get hit by something there? Oh, right, that one. Shooting at us. Gotta get him to blob up. Alright, looks like we got a reasonable spot occurring over here. Let's see how that goes. Okay, gotta lure them back around over here. Don't want them to give up our position over here. Uh, which I think they're just about to. Over here, over here. That That's a really good flame storm there. Really, really good. But yeah, get them back over here. Don't want them to come over here just yet. Also, another good thing is that the more we dick them around, the more tired they're gonna get. Puts us a bit more on even footing. Alright, let's pop one of these down. Alright, how many kills we get there? That, that third one was amazing. Yeah, it wasn't great. That's it. Okay, then we go back around over here. It's a little bit risky because they might go up the hill here. But as long as what we want to do is have them hug this this obstruction here, so that all their infantry sort of pathfind around it, but stay close together. Now, when they're all spread out over there, our magic's just not going to do much damage. All right, get over there. Right, so if we come around over here, they'll try to travel over this way, ideally. Especially if we're a bit more over this way here, they'll they'll they want to pathfind the closest distance, which they see as a straight line, which the closest distance will be like right around here. Anyway, are they doing it? Okay. All right, good. Here we go. They're going for it again. Good. Kind of dodged that. More like they missed more than we actually dodged them though. Um, just waiting for a good opportunity to cast. Got plenty of winds of magic. Just waiting for a good opportunity. Because, yeah, we want to get them all blobbed up. Like, getting rid of Doomfire Warlocks would definitely be good. Oh, you know, we'll just use that for them. Oh, I don't want to get shot by this too much. Oh, you know what I might do as well? Because there's a lot of, um... Oh, uh, I was going to use Burning Head, but it's not good against armored units. I mean, shades don't have that much armor. All right, I'm gonna use a non-overcasted version of it. It's only eight winds of magic, right? Yeah. Probably isn't gonna get that. Actually, no, that's doing really well. Really well. Really well. Okay, good. I'm glad I did that. And then I bring him back over here. <laughs> Who needs an army when you have two wizards that can fly? All right, good. I'm gonna have to do something about these blood rack shrines. That's it, we just use the terrain to our advantage here to make them derp out. Get rid of all the easy stuff so that the hard stuff is not a problem for them to deal with. Being, you know, the Doomfire Warlocks. Yeah, I'd much prefer it if they use uh, Malekith now to shoot at, because at least we can heal him. If we lost the Fire Wizard, that'd hurt. More than losing Malekith right now. Uh, it's that big thing, we don't want to lose Malekith. Alright, decent clump of them over here. Let's go for a cast, see how that goes. There we go. 
It's also really good that we're activating this early for them, because that would have been more powerful for them than for us. Because of the extra leadership bonuses. Right? Yeah, 15 leadership. Make them essentially unbreakable. That, that cast there wasn't amazing. Okay, keep coming back over here. And let's get one of these in here. Could use another burning head, I suppose. But maybe just wait until they get over here a bit more. This is working out really well, I think, so far. Yeah. Better to hit the stationary target. So I could cast this on myself to get more Winds of Magic, but it still uses up Winds of Magic to do it. Better just to be patient, I think, at this stage. I kind of see an opportunity for a burning head here. I'm going to take it. You guys get back around over this way so that they actually walk into it. Oh, we got to dodge this. Starting to run out of Black Ark abilities, but we've significantly th uh, thinned them out. I reckon at this point here, our army might just win. And also, a lot of their troops are quite exhausted. I know, you got to get back around over here. I'm just starting to run a little bit low on magic, that's all. I want to try to get her to a thousand kills. If we can do that, I'll be happy. I'm already pretty happy, but let's just try to get to a thousand kills, and then I'll lure them over here and see how we go. But what I'll do is I'll actually keep Malekith on this side so that they chase after him and that only a portion of the army goes up the hill. Alright, make this count. I'm taking some damage here. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on. Get some damn kills. It got a couple, but it just didn't go the way I was wanting it to. You know, these things happen. Alright, let's get one more of these in. Almost got it to a thousand kills. Doesn't look like we're going to get it to a thousand kills in this battle. Alright. Alright, here's what we do now. Um, actually, you know what? Malekith, you come up here. Lure them up this way. You come around here and see if we can keep some of these guys lagging behind. So that the shades don't have to deal with... I'm going to dodge this. Am I going to dodge it? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so the shades don't have to deal with all of their force all at once. Because we want this to be relatively easy for them. Don't have them uh, buckle under too much pressure. But yeah, we're... Now that they'll chase after Malekith... These guys, okay, put them on fire at will now. And just have as many of them chase after us as possible. We got virtually no winds of magic. What I'll do is when I get the next arcane conduit, I will pop down this as well and just try to get as much magic as I can. Alright. Position over here. It's time for the archer phase. But I think we've thinned them out pretty well. Could have gone better, could have gone worse. Alright, here we go. But look how many of them are lagging behind here. This is exactly what we want. At the one that's least likely to get attacked. Good timing for this to occur. Yeah, see I told you that the uh, the hills here is actually a really big problem. I'm trying to get out of that. flat terrain, they would have actually absolutely shredded it because of the, the approach here is the worst one. That's where they went up. Yeah, I knew the Doomfire Warlocks were going to be the most difficult to deal with. Alright, you leave the bat. Oh, I can't. <laughs> can't tell them to leave. Alright, you shuffle back over to here. Me. 
Alright, now might be an okay time to start using this. Bit of damage. Cool, take that out. Definitely going to want to get rid of that Caribidus. Is that Matt? Uh, there's Hellebron. Um, pop this down just in a moment. There we go. Yeah, they, they were not taken by the bait at all. Alright, we still got enough for another flame storm, but I'm not sure if we're gonna need it now. I'll just might save this up just in case he needs some extra health. Oh, which he might. Okay, move this one back now. And this one as well. Move it back. Keep the fresh ones up front. Come round over this side here. Okay, let's get some more wins. Wouldn't normally have gotten to shoot at that, but they did a good job of it. So, hey, if they're doing a good job, just let them. Wasn't the target I would have gotten to do, but it's fine. But yeah, you can totally see how if we had fought this at the very start, we would have just gotten rolled over. They're just as exhausted as we are now for the most part. All the guys are having real trouble coming up the hill, and they're coming up in waves, which is exactly what we want them to do. Caribbean is getting killed there. Yeah, I think I'm going to need one of these. Make sure I hit something with it, though. It's not great, but at least we'll get some health back. Try to finish off Hellebron if we can. How are you doing? Ooh, that's loud. I think they'll do it twice there. Yep. Okay, move this one back. It's taking too much damage. And I think the army loss is coming in there. There we go. Definitely not impossible. So I guess having all shades actually does kind of work out pretty well if you can hide them. Because, yeah, you can't hide Hydras. Alright, cool. Heroic victory. Nice. No units got wiped out. Uh, you know, a bit of damage done to these two, but nothing they can't recover from over the next few turns. And Hellebron has been smashed. And a lot of her big beasts were killed. So it's one thing to win the battle, it's also another thing to win it well, you know. Your downtime on that is going to be next to nothing, especially with a bit of extra regen. Yeah, you'll be fine to march on to Hagen. Oh, you're already on that. Um, yeah, you'll be fine to, to uh, attack her over the end turn and finish the job. Alright, let's just have a look at how everything else is going. And, uh, hand it back. But yeah, you gotta be more careful in future. Getting caught in Force March, it sucks. I mean, uh, you definitely want to use Force March when you're not gonna get attacked. Ugh, reliability's low. Um, I don't know how long you've been at war with them, but you're currently fighting too many wars, I think. I can't make that judgment call for you. They should be able to... Because, like, if you declared war on them, which I actually doubt you, that you did, then, um... But I just don't know. And if I accepted that and lost you even more reliability, then I don't know. Because I don't know the extent of the entire campaign. But you can still just get that same deal back, right? So, um... 
you gotta make that judgment call yourself. I don't know if that's what you wanted or not. So, we've only got the one army. But yeah, you definitely shouldn't be fighting on two fronts. If they declared war, get that peace treaty. Finish off Harganeth first. Uh, is it possible to get a confederation with them? Am I supposed to listen? No. Alright, that's fine. And, uh, yeah, just keep marching on Harganeth. Alright, cool. Well, that seems done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. And I'll see you next time, fuckers. Appreciate you.